What's up, YouTube? It's Scotty, the Evil Kissed Eagle. We are back out here with the uh, DB8, and we got some parts in. We're going to put on it before I even ride the thing, really. So uh, I'll show you uh, what we are going to do today. So we've got one black extra firm, if it'll focus there. Whoa. Guess it's not going to. Extra firm coil for the boxer and we've got some preload spacers here these little guys whoops the daisies these little fellas here to uh increase the uh stiffness the initial there so uh, here's the part number for those right there <clears throat> if you can see that yeah so we're going to uh get this cap off here and uh, pull the old one out and uh, we'll grease it up and uh, see how it feels right ladybird say hello well, I'm back out here oh I don't know why hey, There she comes. Moment of truth here. Alright, there's that. Looks like we do have some spacers down in there. Let's see what we got. So the fork had two preload spacers in it and it does appear to be the blue coil. That is good. I was concerned that maybe this bike didn't have the stock coil in it, but it does have the firm coil. So we'll get that thing pulled out of there. That thing is, uh, it's pretty dirty in there. I might have the guys clean that oil uh, when I have the new rebound damper installed. And yes, I am getting a new rebound damper. It is uh, busted. So 20 clicks of adjustment does nothing. So I'm not gonna do that myself. But anyway, yeah, that's the blue coil. Pretty easy to get out. Let's see how easy the firm goes in. Also, yeah, the reason that I'm even doing this uh, the bike came with the firm spring in it, this blue one right here, and I am right around 205 pounds, probably around 210 with gear on, uh, and I just went ahead and decided to do the extra firm because that's what they recommend, and just even riding this thing around the yard or that little bit I did at Cherokee, I could tell that the front end, while it felt really plush, I could see where it would dive uh, in situations where I was pushing it a little bit harder than just riding around the yard or riding a Cherokee. So I went ahead and made that decision ahead of time. Let's just go ahead and put the extra firm in it. I've got the firm if I ever do want to go back. And I've also got a lot of preload spacers. So we can adjust with these. Um, so we'll see how it feels. I cannot wait to get it out on the trail. Uh, stay tuned for more stuff. We've got some adventure riding coming up on the uh, dirt bikes, uh, the dirt bike side of the channel. And uh, we've got some bike build stuff coming up uh, with a hardtail, budget hardtail that uh, my buddy Joe's building also. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, enjoy the rest of the video. So yeah, here's the firm coil that's going to go in. Small side there, if you can see that. The uh, small side goes down into the fork. I'm going to go get some uh, grease on this. Uh, my buddy's over at... Uh, <clears throat> on your left cycles in Louisville, Kentucky gave me some grease to put on this thing So I'm gonna go grab that stuff and uh, we'll get her slid in custom grease sack So this is gonna be kind of gross, but it's gonna Coat this bad boy in this stuff here Just kind of That's kind of gross isn't it? Oof. Why you gotta do it like that Scotty? No gloves. Didn't think that one through. Anyway. 
anyway, we're just gonna, it's just getting it nice and greased up. This is vaguely sexual in a way that I'm not totally comfortable with. <laughs> hey man, it's 2022. All right, let's put her, put her in there. She's nice and lubed up. We're gonna slide it right in. Right in, so I'm gonna clean my hands, and then uh, I'm gonna put some preload spacers in, and we'll get the cat back on. So I am going to put the first two spacers that I have in. Uh, I'm gonna add two more, I think, and we'll see how that feels. Caps back on. I'm gonna thoroughly clean my hands before I touch these grips. They're just a little slimy from that grease. Um, so we'll get her off of here and see how it feels. Okay, that definitely made a difference. The fork feels way better now. So, just to recap, we uh, just worked on this side of the fork here. Uh, just took off the top cap up here, real simple, uh, and uh, replaced the spring, re-greased it. I think it definitely needs to have the fluids swapped, uh, but I'll let the bike shop do that. I've got to over here, up under there, the rebound. I've got 20 clicks of adjustment there. But it does absolutely nothing, whichever way you put it, it's the same. It feels good, honestly, but I do have a little noise uh, when I bottom, or not even really bottom, but just when I push really hard, a little click noise. I'm thinking it might be something to do with that rebound because it's not working. The compression does seem to work here. Um, got nice adjustment. Right now I'm running it two from hardest. Uh, but I might adjust that since I've got this new firm spring in here. Don't you think, Lady Bird? I think she agrees. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to maybe soften that up a little bit. But just riding around the yard here uh, feels way better. Like, just bouncing up and down, coming from the motocross world, like, the front end now feels balanced with the shock. Um, it's not diving in the front early. So, yeah, there's the rig. I'm excited to ride this thing. We're not going to be able to go to Windrock until October 22nd, but we might go to Fort Duff here in Kentucky and just push it up the trails. We've got some short little downhill sections we can ride, so hopefully we get out there pretty soon. We'll ride Corey's bike, which I don't know if you saw that video where I highlighted that. He got a sick commensal. Um, and uh, Joe, our other buddy, um, who was in the last Windrock video just picked up a Pivot Phoenix carbon one of course he had to outdo Corey and I so <laughs> uh, really sick bike so we'll be seeing all those pretty soon so uh, thanks for watching guys whoa and uh, yeah I'll check you later <laughs>